Hello friends, today I am going to show you the TP-Link AC1350 wireless dual band 4G LTE router. You might think that why I am making this video again, but you might be noticing one thing that this model is different than the last one. Last one was Archer MR200 and this is MR400. So this is the latest product by TP-Link. Uh, that has come up in India right now and uh, it costs around 6000 and uh, this is the same as it was the earlier model only the difference is uh, with the Wi-Fi speeds like now it is supporting around uh, in 2.4 gigahertz it is supporting a 450 mbps and in 5 gigahertz you are supporting around 867 mbps whereas in the earlier model it was supporting only 350 mbps in 2.4 gigahertz and on 5 gigahertz it was supporting around 433 mbps it also has the MIMO router support as it was in the earlier model it has a same download speed that is 150 mbps and upload speed is around around 50 mbps and uh, here uh, the new thing that I liked for this particular device is that now it supports the sweet TP-Link mobile app with this mobile app you can manage this Wi-Fi rather than connecting with the uh, computer using the Ethernet port and going through 192.168 blah blah and so on and another thing we like about this device is that it now supports new two frequencies like 2600 and 2500 MHz whereas in earlier it was supporting only 2300 MHz so for people those who have or those who are around with the TD LT frequencies of this they will be very useful for them and in India uh, we do have uh, all the frequencies like 2100 we do have 800 megahertz uh, we do have uh, 2300 megahertz so as so as uh, 1800 megahertz so if you are using uh, geo or Airtel or Vodafone then you won't face any problem using this uh, especially I you have checked it out this device with the Airtel and Geo it works fine and very easy to set up and all I will show you on so this is the device my friend as you can see here uh, here it shows the price is around uh, 13,000 rupees but don't be alarmed my friends this is not the real price you will get it in a very nice deal if you buy it through Amazon so let me open this up and I'll show you uh, how it looks around and what are we getting inside And one more thing I forgot to mention, uh, this new device uh, is coming with 3 years warranty as you can see here. It comes with the 3 years of warranty and uh, here uh, let me focus it up, yes. It's coming with the 3 years of warranty with the helpline support also. You, if you face any problem with the device then you can go ahead and call to them and uh, ask for a replacement or uh, anything they might support with. Okay, here it is, the device, so I have to pull it out. So I got to skip this part friends because I am doing it with one hand, it is not that easy. Just one second. So as you can see here, we have got the same uh, external 4G LTE antennas. These are uh, two in numbers, as you can see here, these are two of the antennas. Uh, these are SMA connectors, as you can see here, these are SMA connectors. Uh, I have to put this aside. And uh, here is the device itself, as I showed you earlier about this device. Uh, let me open this up, I think this might have one seal or something. Okay, it's totally open up. Here you can see. And see the new TP-Link logo has been changed, and uh, 
rest uh, everything looks same and only the model number will be changed yes archer mr400 and uh, these are all on the rear these are sma connectors for your uh, two of the external antennas that we have here you can see here and uh, as always the power button here is the power input socket there are four lands one of which we can use as a van and wps reset button wi-fi on off button and sim card so i have to put a sim card in here to set this up and what else we get here okay we get uh, user manuals these are general public license notice mm, these are tp link technologies i think uh, uh, this is I'm unable to get it what's this okay this is the declarations declaration by TP link this is a quick installation guide for MR400 as you can see here uh, we have got some uh, this time we've got some adapter also they have given some adapters like uh, since a lot of numbers of sims are coming for micro or nano then you can use this uh, as an adapter well, it's a nice thing to do by TP-Link thank you TP-Link and uh, one uh, ethernet cord this cord uh, quality is a bit uh, cheap as compared to the last one I do have the last one with me I will show you now one second I do have the last one with me I think it was here yes this is the last one I have got this looks very premium not cheap as compared to this one it's a bit cheap model it's okay but I don't need this we are gonna use Wi-Fi so here is the char power brick so power brick is as it was the last model it was same only I think uh, the connector has some um, a lot of recess on it so that you will have a good grip on it so these are the things so let me set this up and I will connect it to my PC and I will show you how to set up but this time I think we got to show you on the phone we have the new app right so I will come back friends one second so at first uh, we will be connecting this uh, uh, antennas external antennas here and uh, so as so we will be connecting the power cables but uh, I forgot to mention one thing that uh, if we compare this with the last model earlier model the power brick that I was talking about the power brick is slightly bigger than the older model as compared to the older model the power brick is slightly bigger so this has a bit uh, I think powerful power brick than the older model so now it is uh, fixed up I think yes it is fixed up and this can be set it up to, yes, in this way can set this up in this way I will remove these uh, stickers later on first I have to set this up for you so this is the model that we bought this is the new model as you can see here on the picture and here in the real I will show you my earlier model beside here so here you can see this is the old model uh, the logo is different from here you can see uh, this is the new model so earlier model you can see here it was Archer MR 200 12 volt 1 ampere and uh, the new model is this one Archer MR 400 12 volt 1.5 ampere oh that's the reason uh, this has a bigger adapter than the old one as you can see this is the old adapter we have the TP link logo here also and uh, mentions one ampere it is bit a uh, bit light also it is bit light lighter than the new one and uh, let me show you the new one too 
Yes, this is the new one. See how big it is. It is very big and it don't it doesn't have any TP Link uh, logo. I don't know why, but uh, I will keep this side by side. You can see uh, it is big. Uh, it is bigger than this. Uh, let me hold it up side by side. Yes, you can see here. It is big. So this is not the big case. Here are the thing. One more thing you might be noticing that I haven't removed these uh, protective sh uh, stickers on up above my modems because uh, this is a piano finish and uh, piano finish easily gets uh, scratches and all. So I don't remove it because uh, uh, heat dissipations are all around this modem as you can see here. All around this modem even on the below we have the heat dissipation these are all heat dissipation holes you can see you can see uh, inside of the modem too so this is the older one so we will put the same card in here and uh, we will set this new new modem here as always do it right now in front of you I am removing the sim card from this old one as you can see here I am using geo now we will put it inside here okay lock it up yes the sim is locked here and uh, I should connect it here only in front of you let me do it let me switch my PC up okay I have a lot of stuffs here, so I have to connect this one, right? Okay, we'll connect it to the power cable. So as you can see, I have connected to my UPS and my PC is also in standby if I need it. So I am switching the power now. Uh, in the meantime, I will install that app on my phone. Uh, okay, one second, uh, what was that app? We'll go through the app. It is uh, TP Link. TP Link. Uh, yes, here you can see. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, TP Link uh, Theta is the app. So we will select this app and we will go ahead and install it. So it is installing now. Here we can see it is already booted up and Wi-Fi is on and I think it is also connected to net also. Wow, that's very nice. Uh, this is a very new feature that I haven't known about it. So here the app is also installed now. We will open this up. Okay, easily set up your product and get your Wi-Fi ready with step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. We'll go next network management monitor connected devices check device status and block unauthorized users in real time well that's a nice thing to do with your phone right one one app and many devices fully control a wide range of routers and extended all uh, oh very nice very nice if you use all the tp link products network setup and management at your fingertips okay we'll go let's get started okay i've selected it so first of all i think i need to switch on the wi-fi uh, wi-fi is on so tp link uh, will connect it to the normal one. Oh, it is asking the password i have to enter the password let me enter the password and uh, then i will uh, talk to you about as you can see here i've entered the password and it is already connected to the network now we will go to the new app installed that is the TP link uh, PQS T T Tether. Yeah, we will open this app here. I can see my device already. So we will select this device logging in to Archer MR 400. So it will take, I think, a few seconds. Uh, let me skip this part. Okay, okay, it's already done. So we have to create a password. So I'm going to create a password here that I can't show you, friends. Just I'll skip one second. I have entered my password and uh, it is creating now there it shows make sure that your sim card is valid and insert correctly uh, in this card slot scan again there it shows the sim card a lot i don't know why 
let me check this again so my friends that was not an issue actually so it is it was showing me like that because i haven't uh, created a profile like uh, if we are using mobile devices and uh, if we are using network then uh, you might be that uh, we have to set up the client like uh, the connections and also we have to go your tools and here we have to go uh, internet connections and uh, as you can see here uh, we have to create a profile here so without creating in the APN and everything it will not connect like here I will go the profile name I will enter here like uh, geo one second okay okay I will enter geo as my profile name then uh, I will go to APN uh, it is not uh, dynamic APN has to be uh, different than the other one because uh, uh, it's not dynamic I have to change it it's not changing I don't know why I have to change these all mm. authentication type is none so how can I create a profile so I have to boot this up and uh, set it up later on mm. this is how you can set it up and everything I will make a follow up video with the uh, issues that we go through with this. I like to make video very clear and real without making any editing and all. So I will meet you again friends. Give me some time. I will post a second video that would be a part 2 video of this uh, device review. Thank you for watching. Wait for my part 2. Bye bye.